For the first time ever, scientists have recorded brainwaves from freely moving, fully awake octopuses. Could they have found the key to intelligent life in our universe? The team that made this groundbreaking achievement was a group of scientists from around the world. What they did was implanted wireless electrodes into the brains of three octopuses. Octopi. Octopodus. No, octopuses. Their goal was to run a 12-hour electroencephalogram, also known as an EEG test, to measure their brain's electrical activity. You may ask, how are we just now in 2023 measuring the brain waves of one of the most intelligent creatures on Earth? Well, their intelligence is exactly why. They wouldn't let us record them using standard methods previously. Octopus are very tricky and clever creatures. Previous methods of recording have failed because the octopus would simply use their flexible arms to rip off anything on their body we tried to attach for recording. So scientists use what's called the neurologger, which is typically used on small animals like birds and mice. But for this experiment, it worked perfectly. So after the electrodes were implanted, the octopuses woke up, then went about their daily lives for 12 hours, sleeping, swimming, self-grooming, and eating. The scientists then studied the brain recordings and found similar wave patterns amongst all three subjects. Some of the waves resembled a part of the human brain called the hippocampus, which is responsible for memory, whereas other wave patterns they found were more close to the sleep-wake cycle of other animals. But as they kept studying the charts, they saw something odd a mysterious set of brain waves that they had never seen in any animal. These waves were unusually slow and they were very powerful. The scientists were amazed and didn't have any idea if these unusual waves were responsible for behavior or cognition or something else we don't yet understand about biology. But it's very exciting to move forward with this new method of testing octopus, because it may help us learn things about them that are very special, like how they have instantaneous color changing abilities, microscopic camera-like eyes, and arms that can wrap around their entire bodies. But these traits aren't the only mysterious thing about octopus. For one, it's important to note that octopus are cephalopods, which is a class of the mollusca phylum within the animal kingdom, just like squid and cuttlefish. Cephalopods are interesting in that they can bend in any direction, whereas if vertebrates like humans tried to do this, we would bend our knees backwards and snap them. But what really makes octopus special and why scientists want to study them is their extremely complex nervous system that is like no other on the planet. One part of this complexity is that octopus actually have nine brains, a central brain between their eyes and one in each of their eight arms. Weird, right? Here's how their body works differently than ours. So when a human grabs onto something like an apple, our brain activates the muscles needed to grab the apple using a neurological body map. Pretty straightforward. But when an octopus grabs something, it doesn't have a body map. Instead, its brain has a behavioral library. The octopuses see what it wants and a behavioral response is triggered to grab it. Its brain sends that signal through its body network and the neurons in its arms pick up the signal and its arm commands the octopus to pick it up. Imagine if your arms commanded you to pick things up. It just doesn't work. We're not built the same. So octopus are highly complex and extremely intelligent. In fact, their abilities to respond to the environment, hunt and survive are equal to that of a fifth grader. And they've even been known to play pranks on their human keepers. It's this combination of intelligence and complexity that makes us wonder what exactly is important for intelligence in the universe. Octopus are built on a completely different magnitude than any other creature on Earth. For one, they have the largest brain to body ratio of all of the vertebrates. They have as many neurons as a dog, which is about 500 million, and 60% of those neurons are in their arms. They are so complex that even though they're invertebrates, they're being studied on the same level as dolphins and chimpanzees. So where am I getting at with this? What is this mysterious key that octopus hold? If they truly are the key to intelligence, then why aren't we finding underwater cities built by them? Where are their statues of the water gods? Well, scientists suggest it's because they only live three to five years. They don't have enough time in their lifespan to learn the abilities of conceptualizing and imagining scenarios. If they did live longer, neuroscientists believe they could evolve their brain to act on their intelligence. They could theoretically create societies of a much higher frequency than we could ever imagine. But this begs another question. Why are they so special? Why don't they have an evolutionary bridge to any other animal on the planet? Well, there's a large group of scientists who believe the answer to that is that they aren't from this planet. 
that they're from somewhere else in the cosmos. Sounds far-fetched, right? Well, maybe not so much. There's a theory called the hoyle wickramasinghe thesis of cometary biology. It basically makes the claim that the direction of evolution on Earth has been significantly affected by biochemistry that didn't start on our planet. That life may have been seeded on Earth by life-bearing comets as soon as the conditions here allowed life to flourish about 4.1 billion years ago, which is 400 million years after the planet was formed. The theory suggests that living organisms such as space-resistant bacteria viruses, and other complex cells were delivered to Earth, which is why we have such a considerably high genetic diversity. So to fast forward about 500 million years ago, there was a great terrestrial event called the Cambrian Explosion, and it was basically the Big Bang of biology on Earth. It's the time period when almost all animal phyla started to appear in the fossil record. And if you remember from school, the evolutionary taxonomy that comes before phylum is kingdom which is made up of five categories. Animals, plants, fungi, protists, and monorids. So yes, this Cambrian explosion means that there is a period in the history of our planet when we could see evolution starting to happen. Some scientists believe this Big Bang was caused by terrestrial changes on Earth, like an increase of oxygen in the planet and the formation of our ozone. But scientists of the HW theory believe that it was due to life forms brought on meteors. They also believe that octopus specifically seem to be the descendants of creatures preserved in eggs on an icy comet that hit Earth during that time. Okay, so why octopus specifically? Well, they mysteriously have 33,000 protein coding genes, which is 25% more than we have. These genes are basically what give our cells instructions on how to make proteins. They're important for not only the structure and support of our cells, but they allow our bodies to move. What makes octopus so special is that these genes are not easily found on any life form on Earth, nor is their genome similar to the animals that octopus are supposed to have descended from. That leaves only one logical scenario, that their genes were borrowed from somewhere else in the cosmos. Now, there are scholars who don't agree with these claims and say that they're completely speculative but other scientists say that there's no other explanation. That in the early stages of our planet, there just wasn't enough time for an organism to evolve into something so deeply complex like the octopus, a delicate, intricate complexity that simply could not exist within the timeline of planet Earth.